This is Ajay Razim along with Ajay Arza. Hope all of you are safe along with your family. Yes, the COVID-19 pandemic has hit us hard, but we'll make it out of this challenge together. Anyways, me and my co-host welcome all of you to the online magic ceremony of Dar Fala English School's radio programs. Guys, everybody has a role model in their lives. I would like to invite one such role model whom we the students look up to, who help us in achieving our goals and dreams and who help us reach beyond our limits. Yes, it's none other than our beloved principal sir, Mr. Abdul Bashir. Sir, the mic is all yours. Most respected parents, distinguished heads and educators, and my lovely children, good morning. Darul Falah English School Popalam, as an innovative education system offering the best scholastic and co-scholastic exposure and experiences for the nurturing of the inborn potentials of the all learners. We are committed to provide multi-skills development programs. School Radio is one of the remarkable initiatives towards this direction. Significance and salient features of School Radio. It ensures opportunity for all the learners. School radio enhances the confidence of children. It evolves enthusiasm and creativity. It connects a wider range of learning population. School radio develops multi-skills. School radio also improves literacy, information literacy, media literacy, and technology literacy. I wish all the best this year's variety events in a perverted scenario of COVID-19. I request all educators and parents to inspire and encourage our learners. I request our students to enthusiastically participate in school radio programs. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir, for your imposing and spectacular words. Next, I would like to hand over the mic to an important person who is also the DFVS radio coordinator, our beloved Shakya ma'am, for a beautiful message. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes determination and hard work. In our online mode of learning, we are going to launch e-platform Darfla FM Radio. I hope... This is going to be an interesting one for you. Yes, it is our privilege to introduce the Radio FM in our campus. As a faculty of this institution, here I am sharing my extreme pleasure with you. Elsa, have you been doing anything in lockdown? Yes, I have been improving my skills on painting, but it requires a lot of creativity. Well, since you're speaking about creativity, I know just the right person. Here, I call upon Fatma Hani of grade 8 to tell us more about creativity. Good morning to one and all. I hope you're all safe and sound in your homes, doing great, staying healthy and happy. This is Fatima Hania from 8th A, willing to share some pieces of advice on how to be creative. Creativity, in simple words, is the ability to make something useful or valuable. It happens in all areas of life science, art, literature, and music. As a personal ability, it is very difficult to measure. So creativity is endless and eternal. Being creative helps you become a better problem solver in all areas of your life and work. Creativity helps you see things differently and better deal with uncertainty. It is said that creative people are better able to live with uncertainty because they can adapt their thinking to allow for the flow of the unknown. Creative people are energetic and focused. They have a great deal of energy both physically and mentally. They can spend hours working on a single thing that holds their attention yet seem to remain enthusiastic all the while. So let's all say that we are all creative and let's join hand for a creative tomorrow. I would like to conclude by hoping that we all learn something new and let's welcome Yasin from Great Ninth to join with us all. Thank you. Stay creative. Thank you, Hania. 
Hello friends, I am Yasin Mohyuddin from grade 9b. As you all know that we are going through a dangerous situation and responsibility have a great importance in our daily life. Responsibility means a duty or obligation to complete a task which can be either assigned by someone or even may have been created out of our own commitments and circumstances. Every responsibility must be taken seriously and my dear friends, we should put our best efforts to bring the task to completion. The sense of responsibility should be practiced since the teenage years as it is the best time to learn good habits and principles. Although there is no age to learn something new, it is again the responsibility of teachers and parents to make sure that the children learn from them to the responsible from the beginning. We want to survive all this situation and we want to build a great world. By saying this, we are concluding our words. Thank you all. Stay safe, stay healthy. By the way, how's your online class going on? It's going great, but as I told you before, I really miss going to school. Why do you need to go to school? You could just sit at your house, enjoy the comfort of it. Well, it's not as memorable and as fun as you go into a real school. But it's not compulsory. You could just do the same thing as you're saying in the house. You don't understand. Let's take this discussion to the professionals. I invite Hida Aishin of grade 12 and Ali Aydin of grade 6. Online learning merits and demerits. All educators approach this new paradigm with varying degrees of enthusiasm and concern. Are you optimistic or skeptical about online learning? So here we present a debate conducted by Fida Aishin and Ali Aydin. Here we go. With online learning, you do not drive or take a taxi to class. This helps you save time. Yes, you are right. But if you are taking online programs from home or park, for example, be sure that there will be disturbances. And it could be noise from children or people moving here and there. Online courses offer more individual attention. You can learn from a place you are comfortable with. Whenever you want, online courses offer flexibility. If you are the lazy type, never punctual and love postponing tasks, online learning will be a waste of time and money. The fact that you learn from wherever you are means there are no fuel or transport cost. This helps you cut on expenses, especially if you have a tight budget. Learning in a physical classroom is interesting and more involving as human interaction is present. This lacks in online learning. With schools shut across the world, millions of children have to adapt to new types of learning as there are no other alternatives. Thank you. Thank you, Fida and I did. Did you change your mind now? No, I still prefer online school. It's your choice. I said mine. Look at the time. It has gone flying. Well, time does go by when you're having fun. Too bad we must end this wonderful show. See you all again next time. This is RJ Arza. And this is RJ Arza. Signing out. Good job.